All right. Uh, um, item on the fly? Item on the fly. Let's go to user maintenance first. Um, now, there's two different kinds of items on the fly. Um, we probably need to set another item up that is only at one location. Do you need a pilot's license to use this? Yes. That was a terrible um, joke. It was really bad. I so th there's two kinds of item on the fly. One is, and there's different settings that control both. One is adding an existing item to your lo your sales location that you're placing the order for. And the other one is straight out just creating a brand new item. Right. Um, so the one he's highlighting there, that's for adding existing items to your location. Now, we have we have found that with this setting, the, the thing that usually trips this whole setting up is our customers want certain roles to be able to do it. We have done that. Not easy, via, but doable. Via business rules. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, okay. Creating items at order entry or service order entry. So they can create temporary items, regular items, or no items, or both. So we'll leave it at both. Um, and like I said, they're just uh, yeah. Let's let's create a new item that only has one location. We oh, need that to, okay, yeah, I, I, I know where you're going. Okay, cool. We're just gonna try to put the bare <laughs> minimum in here. I'm gonna do it as quickly as possible. Hey, look at that. <laughs> what you're going to see is the the bare minimum required to create said item, which I believe is just those 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 groups, a unit and a supplier. I think that's it. Mm, that was a bad choice. Yeah, that everything else should have defaulted in. Yeah, I win. So you can see how little information it actually needs to have an item created in the system. Yep, <laughs> which is good and bad. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Good and bad. Good and bad. All right, OE. OE. Yep. Doesn't doesn't really work that way, does it? Now, when we do our menu designer I, uh, I know. stream, I, I, it, we'll be able to show people how that works. Absolutely. Actually, if you would have hit O space E, it would have worked. I apologize. That's why when I type in porg, I type P O space R space G. All right. Let's just start an order, sir. Let's do the add location. So change that to 21st because it's already at location. So his sales location is 20. We're going to add. Now, you notice it doesn't come up in the smart search because it doesn't exist for this location. It's pretty self-explanatory. Yes or no. That's it. Nothing else gets set up. There's nothing else required doesn't allow you to make any changes to the item and i think it commit creates the record at that time um so if you do so, that and don't hit save on the order it's still, it's still gonna be on the item that's correct so it's the same idea as copy item right once you are telling the system yes this is an item it's an item um and again we have I, again it's why i don't like all or not features on, on some of this stuff because I can see a use case where that's fine. I can see a lot of cases where it's not fine. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's all. That, that's as simple as it is to add it to a location. That's all I have to say about that. So now we're actually going to do an item on the fly. Eventually. Oh, there we go. Eventually. And it's... <laughs> It's actually easier to create an item on the fly than it is an item maintenance. Which is kind of a problem. <laughs> yes. 
Okay, so you've got some options here. You, they can add an item, they can add a temp item, which distinction without a difference. Um, and they can also add an assembly. So, you know, there you go. Um, now I will say this though, I believe this is still popping up for you this way because you have advanced search turned off. Yes, correct. If, if so, I was using advanced search, it would look like this and be completely right. useless. So it's item. Whoa. You just broke something. It's just item. So, oh, you just really broke it. <laughs> so if you don't see the button. The nerve of me wanting to search a different way. If you don't see the button, <laughs> then just change your drop down to item and then the buttons will be there. Again, why they're just not there. P21 going to P21. Did you really, I, I think really I break it? I broke it into oblivion. <laughs> All right, we're going to just uh, close <laughs> this down because um, there's probably a server in the back that's like on fire right now. <laughs> I think I hear the fans spooling up. Oh, man. What version is this database? It's like 23.1. I mean, it's not that old, bro. It's no, not it's that not. old. Oh, come on. And no, our password is not password. No, of course not. It's password one. What do you think? I'm crazy. <laughs> it's one, that, two, three, four. That sounds like something an idiot would put on their luggage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my so airplane God. Airplane one? Or airplane no, that was Spaceballs. Oh, it was, was Spaceballs. I have, I have not watched I've, that I've, in I've, forever. I've got to change my... Remind me to change my luggage. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm not getting anything done now. Nope. Orders. All right. Sorry, I realized I was crunching eyes. <laughs> hey, it's all, My bad. It's all good, dude. All right, we are gonna add new without messing with anything else. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that the next field is description, though it doesn't really tell you that that's what it's supposed to be. I hate so much about this right now. <laughs> so much I hate about this. All right. One being unit of measure and one be because here's... <clears throat> Breathe. It just assumes every unit, the unit measure here is going to be your, per whatever, just add. <laughs> uh, well, isn't this what we set up in defaults maintenance? Because we had to. You have to have a base unit of measure as a default. It will not let you save an uh, item location default without a unit of measure. I don't know why. You should put that in a suggestion box somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, product group. So this is what's in there by default. Let's can, let's do a quick data change on that. I want to see what else we can. Yeah, because that's that that there's no risk we're gonna break anything doing this. Now. No. I there, said. There, oh, those are actually editable. I like that. Okay. So Good yeah, cost. we can put a couple of classes on there. We could do. List price costs is it actually work up top. Oh, sorry. Let me see. That's got to be supplier cost. Yep. Okay. I mean, this actually looks a lot more complete than it did the last time I looked at this list. I don't know if this has been updated in the last few years or not. There's actually quite a bit here. I mean, you could almost make this easier to set up than and actually hit all the pertinent data you want because it's now I will say this. We have we have created tools for some of our customers for, for things like creating ship tools and, and other things that allow us to, we're using visual business rules that allow us to basically handhold a user through the creation process, whether it's customer ship to or item creation. But there are more options you can do here. The problem still comes down to whoever's doing this 
has to know what they're actually doing. Because if they just willy-nilly put stuff in, or... Can you make stuff required, too? Uh, you should be able to. Nope. 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 Now, I wonder if it's one of those things where you have to save it first, then go... Because there is some of those no. features where you Well, have... that one was already on there, so let's try that, that one. Sorry. Um, we are going to do a stream on basic data change and navigation and and things like that. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Stay tuned. And we do have a couple of snippet videos um, uh, of that we've put up there, but we'll go into a little bit more detail on how to use it. Let's cancel. Yeah, you know, that is a phrase that there is literally no digital equivalent for. Stay so, tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like you can't you can't replicate you can't. This, you can't update that. Stay notified. Stay yeah. bell clicked. Oh gosh, I hate that, man. I, I just I can't do it. I can't beg. Me too. But to if button. you are subscribed, make sure you click the uh, notify ring bell button. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's. Uh, I mean, this is go back to that's that pretty change. cool. All right, because this didn't used to be the way it was. It used to be no, very this limited. No, this is this is a lot better. It really is. Uh, yes. There you go. There we go. All right, so all right, new project for you guys. Do some homework of what you want on here, and if you can't do it, we can help you. Another potential project here, uh, just, again, something to think about if this fits your business. You may not want everyone on the planet doing item on the fly. That's fine. But if this is a less painful way to get an item in, then just assign item on the fly rights to people that should have item creation and let them use this to do it yeah might be better you know um uh, so let's okay right, let's, i'm gonna close that and yep. i'm gonna close that and then okay there we go creating a new item no nope. now some of the, there are things on this screen that you can't see that it's still going to fill in. Like it's still filling in default discount groups. Right. And department. we could have added those. Right. But we didn't. We didn't. Um, that is interesting. I do like that the unit sizes, you know, because you have to have one that is a one. Yep. I, I I'm telling you this I see potential right here that that like normally I would say this is just okay but yeah. if you think about like our like the copy on the fly feature that we built mm -hmm. would be so much better with all these additional fields yep I mean it would be amazing all right so it's in that's it and if we go it's committed to the database. So if we go look that up in item master inquiry, and I mean, it's there. And because like that supplier had, D, you know, has one time supplier list as the, the pricing schema, like it's already pricing the item correctly and everything right out of the gate. That's actually, right. that's actually really good. I, I really like that. All right. I, I changed my opinion on item on the fly. Yeah, modification no. yeah. and guardrails. Yes, yes.